Joseph Swally is really set off a uh, turn of events. Michael, this war chest, the salary cap exemption to be able to go and pill for talent from other codes, is it going to happen? Uh, look, it's, it's a real concept. The NRL, and look, I know it's, it's great theatre at the moment. We're talking about it as this revenge attack on Australian rugby and, and trying to get players. But it's actually been something that Peter Volandis and Andrew Abdo have been trying to work on for a couple of years now. In detail, in, in theory, the, the model is basically try and give clubs up to a million dollars in salary cap relief. Now, that's not a million dollars in, in cash. It's salary cap dispensation to go and chase players from other markets. Now, they, they've identified sort of South Africa or Argentina where there is a strong rugby, uh, rugby union participation growing there and there's a lot of talent in those countries. And also out of the US where there's obviously a lot of college footballers who don't get the crack at playing in the NFL. So the NRL are, encour are encouraging clubs or they will encourage clubs to go out there take some risks, bring players here, and also go after players in, in markets to try and grow interest in those sports. Try and get an established player from South Africa, let's say a Springboks player, bring him to a club, pay him X amount. That's not going to be part of the salary cap. And if it works, it's great for rugby league. It's great for rugby league in that country. Puts them on the map. And everyone's how, a winner. How much but is it realistic going to grow our game in South Africa? Well, I don't know. It depends on who they get, right? Come on, yeah. <laughs> that, that, I'm just telling you what the model is, what the theory is. That, that's what Gus, you run a club. Like it or don't like it, would you use it if that was introduced? Bulldogs can't even get exemption for a 240-game veteran <laughs> in Josh Jackson <laughs> when he decided to retire because his body had given out, yet we're going to go and give salary cap dispensation to an old mate from playing from South Africa. I find the thing extraordinary. And when I said a few weeks ago that Suwali has made his decision to go to rugby, let him go now... It was to avoid all this rubbish in the media that we're seeing. Every cent they've paid Suwali, rugby have made it back in press ten times over. And it's just going to keep going and going and going. And you're also stupid to keep biting. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid to no, keep biting. I find this to be... This is a ridiculous idea. All it's going to do is inflate the market. How will domestic players feel if we can go out and pay some black 800000 they've never heard of just to, so we're getting back at rugby. What do we need to get back at rugby for? Rugby's no threat to us whatsoever. We are, we are the greatest game. They're two different games. Oh, I'll tell you this. No, no, we're near the same Their game. players can't play our game and our players can't play their game. I've I got no doubt I agree with that. That's yeah. why all our players that go there come back. And they, there's How many players we've seen play from rugby union that play first grade, some sort of first grade level at the moment, come over to the NRL? Well, this is young Max Jorgensen. I don't Jorgensen. think we've seen any. Oh, yeah. he, he's dead, obviously, was, you know, he's got rugby league pedigree uh, as well. People have... He was a potential. Let them play their game. 100%. Like, do we really? Why are we, we even talking do we really about? Think this? We're going to get one of these guys to come over and play in the NRL and have any success as an NRL. Player. Do we want Vunivalu back? Why are we even no, talking that, about? It wouldn't this? be used. For hey, we replaced him. What's to happened to Vunivalu since he left? <laughs> this is the thing, Gus. Everyone that leaves, every single player leaves. They're great players. We don't want to lose them, but if they go, they go. We replace them over and over tenfold, ten times. Let them go. There's always someone Let them coming go. through. Always. Let them go. I'm with you. Okay. So, so hypothetical. Then they introduce this system. You don't even look at it. You don't. You just leave the million-dollar potential option on the table. Not even. Don't even worry about it. To See, do what? To look, See, get a player from anywhere. It doesn't have to does be that, Does that not open up rewards? Does that from rugby? America? I'm not going to go and suddenly start watching rugby. It doesn't have rugby. to be rugby. I don't know. Some NFL. But, but does that not open up NFL? Game? That's what they're Basketball. talking about. Shemus, does, does, does that not open somewhere? up a can of worms? Does that not open a can of worms? <laughs> and once again, rule the salary cap. Yeah. Well, no, because it's not going to be in the salary cap. So, yeah. but what, but if you can, so if you can sign, go and buy sign from the some AFL. NFL player from nowhere, middle of nowhere, and he turns out to be a top seventeen player, yeah. yeah. And you've got a million dollar, up to a million dollar player in your in your top seventeen. Nothing. That's exempt well, from the salary cap. You've got nothing. Good, if you're good How's enough to develop fair? him, it's not fair at all. Yeah, that's not. It's not. It opens a can of worms we don't need. We do not need it. Well, this guy, maybe in ten years' time, he's finished oh, yeah. playing NFL. They play three seconds a game. They play for three seconds at a time. Who's going to play for eighty minutes? He's run for. He's run. He's run for four seconds. Yeah. Mate, he's coming yeah, next yeah. week to the dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up and back, they run ten metres up and back, mate. Six. I've already got wingers that catch the ball and throw it down. Why would I? <laughs> he's, he'll fi he'll Why would fix, I want another one of them? He'll fix your injury crisis. That guy. <laughs> he's coming back. He's uh, coming over. Media is so stupid. For free. It's but, so stupid. It's not happy? us. It's the NRL's plan. You're exacerbating this by even talking about it. <laughs> it's the NRL's. If I knew plan. you were going to talk about this tonight, I would have stayed at home. <laughs> uh, are you happy to welcome Roger to a check back to rugby league? Though, Wonderful. Brilliant. Yeah. Should never have gone in the. First place, Barney had an itch he wanted to scratch. Good old Roger. He scratched He's back. It. He's back. He's back. Where he belongs. Yeah. He... I told you, they sent me up that time. <laughs> I remember when Lottie Dakiri first played rugby. They played him for New South Wales. He was a Queenslander. They played him for New South Wales. I laughed at that for a start. 
the Herald said, go out there and write a column on Lottie's game. I said, what for? Oh, well, everyone's going to want to know how Lottie went. Why? Well, he's a rugby league player playing rugby. That's the only way they get publicity, is talking about rugby league players playing rugby. <laughs> so I went out to the Sydney Football Stadium, sat in the rain, because I wouldn't bother going with the press box, sat in the rain. Lottie touched the ball twice. Touched it twice. What'd you write? Nothing. I said, what a boring game rugby was. <laughs> they didn't ask I'm me to go find back. That column. They didn't ask me to go back. <laughs> Can you find it? You, I'm going to look you for sit, it. You sit, you sit there and try and watch someone play in rugby to see if he goes all right. You might have to watch four weeks of football to see him get the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what we're talking about. Can we just cut this episode out? <laughs> it's the whole episode. This is pre-recorded. <laughs> You're never going to see this episode. I'll, I'll go and get it cut out. Oh, uh, dear idea. Uh, I told you. <laughs> no, 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 you're scared of rugby. I'm not scared of rugby. <laughs>